we are leaving here now the island today and going back to uh, my role and we're just going to let this uh, little rain squall pass and then uh, we're ready. It was like a two minute rain, so super quick and we're ready. So this is the result of the sewing uh, project that had uh, we had the other day. Our sunroof works pretty well, much better than the prototype. The sun here in the Caribbean is really really hot so it's nice with the sun roof shade thing that we made the other day. It's super nice to uh, sit in the shadow and uh, feeling the breeze in the cockpit at the same time. It's really nice to uh, get away from the sun a bit. It's not a bimini but it's, uh, yeah, it's still okay I think. It keeps well uh, in the wind and uh, yeah, the shadow is it's perfect. How oh, is the nice and shady place? Super. It's so nice to be able to sit out here. It's been a while since uh, we could sit here during the day, but it's really nice. I like it. It works great. Maru is a nice uh, little island. Uh, we're anchored at Salinas Bay. There are not much boats there. There are around, yeah, like seven, ten, seven of them. Yeah. Uh, but when we arrived, there were, were a lot more. Now we're going uh, around a hike around the island. Uh, first, we're going to Salt Whistle Bay. Salt Whistle Bay, and then we're going around the island. It's a cool place, huh? Yes. And I think there's Tobago Keys. That's that one I'm certain of. And then the small island is uh, Palm Island. And then I think the islands that we see is uh, Petit Martinique and Petit Saint Vincent. Okay. Maybe. And the, then the Kariaku is the, and the big, big one. one. So Mopion should be somewhere in between. Okay. It's a rather sleepy uh, island and town here on Maru. Uh, but there's an, it's a nice vibe here, so everybody's friendly. Uh, but yeah, there's not much happening here, it's just a nice place. Yeah, we like this island a lot. We walk past a lot of bars and uh, different places that look like they ha have been something at the time. But almost everything looks closed now, so I don't know if there was a lot of places that didn't survive the COVID uh, pandemic. But yeah, it's kind of sad to see all these closed places, I think.
looks like an uh, abandoned like hotel everything is empty broken Looks like an abandoned hotel or a bungalow village place. Too bad for it's a really nice place to uh, to have a like hotel or a resort. Myro is the smallest inhabited island of the Grenadines. The population of about 300 people is centered around an unnamed village located up here on Station Hill. Good morning! Morning! How was the night? Oh, it was a rolly night. It's really rolly here at the night. Uh, I don't know why. We have like shelter from the island, uh, from the wind and yeah, I thought also from the waves. But um, somehow the swell gets around the island and it's, uh, it's rolling like crazy. Uh, it's better during the day, but then at the night, I don't know why it's worse at the night, actually. So we have been two nights here now at my row, and I don't know, maybe we should have just stayed at Union Island until uh, this swell had calmed down. But uh, Union, Union Island and Chatham Bay, where we were, was really well protected from swell, but we had these winds coming down from the mountain, so there we had a lot of wind. Here we don't have the wind, but we have the swell. So I don't know, I think I prefer the wind. Uh, that's easier to handle than being tossed around in bed. You can really feel like just when we cross the Atlantic, you can feel in your muscles that you have been like holding on to the bed for the entire night. So I don't know, the body aches in all strange muscles and you're really really tired so I don't know maybe we move tonight or we stay here another night um, we'll see how how it goes to end this episode the wind has finally calmed down a bit so we can go back to island hopping and start just seeking shelter we hope you have enjoyed sailing with us this week and if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you want to follow us along towards the Tobago Keys and then go north I think then you should definitely subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell so you will be the first to know when we post a new episode. Until then, fair winds and bye!